What's up y'all, it's your girl Michi and I'm back with Making Monday episode 11. So today, as you've seen by the thumbnail and probably the title, I'm going to be doing kind of like a three in one today. Normally I just do one item and we just like experiment with that, but today I'm gonna attempt to make three pieces in one. If you watch my latest thrift with me video, I got this carpet from the thrift store and um, I normal I didn't even really like the pattern that much, but I got it just because I like the, every time I see these, I go and get them. This one is giving more of like Christmassy vibes and I'm not really feeling the front pattern. So I was thinking flip it to the back cause it's giving like brownish and something. I feel like I can do something with that. Normally when I get these carpet, I always end up making like carpet pants or something like cliche, you know, everybody do that. And I already have like three pair of carpet pants. So today I'm going to try to attempt to make a bag and I'm going to try to make, I'm going to try to make something else. I'm not even going to lie with y'all. I don't even know what the item is going to be, but when I figure it out, y'all will know as well. The first thing I'm going to do is the bag because to me, I feel like that would be the easiest to do. Y'all like longer videos, so we just going to hop into it. Enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get started. Wish me luck. Hopefully everything turn out good. Fingers crossed. Okay y'all, so first thing, first disclaimer, they got the TV playing on there. So if you hear that, that's what it is. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but the first thing I'm gonna try to make is this tote bag. That should be the easiest thing because it's literally two squares and the handles. I just gotta figure out which part I'm going to cut out and then we'll just go from there. Okay, so what I'm thinking is like, you know, tote bags be like horizontal or whatever. So I'm thinking like do a decent size tote bag about this big. And then I'm gonna take another corner that already has the tassels and then we'll have the tassels all around the bag. And then I'll take tassels and put it around like for the strap. So that's what we're gonna do. So I don't know if you've seen what I just did, but basically the I want the brownish this part to show. So what I did was just put the insides parts together, and then I'm going to basically I folded this part so the re, the edges wouldn't show, and I'm gonna pin this part and the sides, and then this top part I'm probably gonna cut this off, and this is gonna be the opening part of the bag, and then I'll add the handles and stuff. But first I need to pin everything, the bottom, the two sides, and the bottom. so far y'all i definitely did my thing we got it together so we just got the opening of the actual bag the toe bag so now i just need to make the straps this is probably the quickest easiest thing i ever made now i'm just gonna cut off parts for the straps with the tassel part on it and then we'll just go from there I wanted this, the like colorful tether part to be the handles. Um, I cut a decent amount of thickness, but basically what I'm gonna do is just like fold it like that and these are gonna be the handles. I'm just gonna cut this in half and however long this is is how long the straps are gonna be, so.
This is the first item I made out of the carpet, which I think I added the made sure the tassels was on both sides. We got the uh, handles. Um, I thought it was the handles were gonna be a little bit longer, but it's okay. As long as I can still fit my arm in it, we pretty much good. This really just more for like fashion purposes. I might just throw like a couple things in it just to, you know, give it a little volume, but so far this is cute. And then also there was this patch on the side of it. So I just made it like a part of the design to make it look like something, so. This is cute. Now we get moving on to the next thing. So I already laid everything out um, for the next thing I'm going to do. And I was guessing on doing this, but we just going to try it and see what happened. But this is a dress that I kind of don't wear anymore. But I feel like I seen one picture. Hopefully I can find it again. But I seen one picture of this girl who had like a carpet dress. And I ain't seen nobody else do that. So I'm thinking that's what we finna do. I'm gonna try to do it using this one. Hopefully it turned out right, hopefully. But that's what basically what we gonna make next. This is what the dress looks like all the way sewed up. I already tried it on and I think I'm gonna put tassels on the bottom of this to make it like actually look like a carpet dress, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna use this, the black and white one left over cause I don't have enough of that color left. So we're just gonna pin all that at the bottom and go from there. tassels on the bottom this is the pattern i kind of like it because it's like just random stuff all over the place so you can't really tell what the carpet was before that but i think this is cute also i like scrunched it up a little bit but you can also pull it down and wear it like long ways if i wanted to so y'all let me know what y'all think about this. This is like real different. So I'm still kind of like iffy on it, but I think it's cute. And I feel like also I could wear it multiple ways now. Like I could put a shirt over this and just have a skirt or I can put pants and then just have a top, you know? But I think this is super cute. But yeah, this is what it looks like overall. Actually the little scrunched up part don't even take away from the look. It just give it like, a relaxed type of look and then it's off the shoulder but yeah this is what it looks like do a 360 so it's the next day and I just wanted to show y'all both the pieces that I made so first the tote bag of course with the tassels on the front back and the bottom I also have the tassels on the handle this is what it looks like and then the other piece is the strapless dress with the tassels down at the bottom. Y'all, I love them both so much. Comment down below which piece is your favorite. Honestly, out of both of the two, I think my favorite is the dress just because I didn't know, I didn't think I could do it for real, but I did it, so. But I love both the pieces. Comment down below which one you think is your favorite. I actually had a lot of fun making this. I'm glad I finally made something different than what I normally do besides just some carpet pants. With that being said, I guess I'll go ahead and close the video out right here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, subscribe down below. Like this video, comment what you want to see next, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. Also, y'all could start commenting like, what do y'all be wanting me to do on Making Mondays? Like, if y'all have any requests or anything you want to see me attempt, to make y'all can comment that down below as well but yeah that's it i'll see y'all in my next one